What will you what will your stance be if your party as running? What would your stance be on marijuana? Marijuana. Yep. Look, I think there's a very strong argument for medical marijuana uh, to be used. Yep. Um, I think we've got to follow the science uh, and the evidence on this. We've got to listen to the experts around the world. We're doing it. Now, I, I'll be honest. I haven't looked. I haven't read this is in greater detail as I have some of the more pressing issues like the availability of hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin. But we've got to follow the science. We've got to follow the evidence. And from what I've read, oh yeah, but but, I but, but happy to, I'd so be what, happy to be. be so. Yes. So let's say, for example, we elect you, yes. all right? So when we elect you and, you yes. know, what would your stance be? My stance would be that we'd follow the science on the data. I'd be listening to the experts. And so what, what's field. the science and data currently say? Well, that's to my understanding of it. Is it, is it a freedom of choice there? Or is yeah, it, look, are we going to be arrested for it? Is, 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 a, is it decriminalisation or what? Yeah. Look, I think when it comes to the... You've got two different issues. You've got the issue of medical marijuana, which is prescribed for people that are ill and help them overcome illnesses. And you've got it as a societal issue where it's freely available in societies, yeah. as they've done in some cities and some places in, yeah. in, in, in the US. Before I'd make any change, I'd like to have a really good study about what has happened in those cities in the USA, yeah. how it worked out. We've got a, uh, a benchmark for that. So I'd be all for looking at that and making an informed decision upon the facts. Yep. Okay. Right. Cheers, okay. Cheers. Thanks.